I am Professor Ashley Dobbs, Director of the Intellectual Property and Transactional Law Clinic at the University of Richmond School of Law. I'm here today to update and unpack the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office's recent rejection of Cardi B's trademark application for Okur. Now, spoiler alert, if you haven't seen the first video where I talk about the application in the first place, you might want to go back and watch that first. The easiest place to find it is on YouTube at the University of Richmond Law School's YouTube account. So you may remember that about a month ago, Cardi B filed trademark applications with the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office, the USPTO, for her alleged catchphrase, okur, and she said that she would be using that as a wordmark in connection with the sale of various products and services. Well, as we foreshadowed in the earlier video about her trademark applications, she has been rejected by the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office for one surprising reason and one for not so surprising reason. One is that somebody else already filed a trademark application before she did, alleging use of the sound mark ukur in a connection with the sale of goods and services. So that mark is still pending. They have to prove that they have actually used it in commerce and that it's the source of, that the consuming public sees it as the source of goods and services for their goods and services. Same problem that Cardi B would have. Uh, but the other reason we did kind of guess that, and that is that the examining attorney from the USPTO states that the phrase okur is a commonly used phrase, a merely informational phrase that Cardi B did not originate. In fact, they give 60 pages of examples of prior use of the mark, and specifically they note that it is a commonly used by the drag community and by celebrities as an alternative way of saying, okay, or something that is said to affirm when someone is being put in their place, end quote. So what happens now? Cardi B's got um, an opportunity to respond to this rejection, this initial rejection from the USPTO. They get six months from the date of the letter to try to persuade the examining attorney in a written document that she is in fact the originator of this phrase and or that the consuming public associates her as the source of goods and services with that mark, with that phrase, okur. Uh, if that if she does not succeed in persuading the USPTO, then she can appeal that to the Trademark Trial and Appeal Board. If they don't agree, she can appeal it to the Federal Circuit and then ultimately, as others have done, to the U.S. Supreme Court to finally see if she is the source of okur or it's a commonly used phrase. 